All right, guys, so today we are looking at a new pair of headphones. Uh, these are from MIFO. We've done a bunch of their headphones. Now, these ones are definitely not inexpensive. So if you are looking at some higher end earbuds, uh, throw, throw, these, throw these in the mix, I guess. Uh, they're the, I don't even know how you pronounce these. Fitai, 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 Fiti, I don't know, F-I-I-T-I-I, -I -I, right? Hi-Fi pods, true wireless earbuds, active noise canceling, wireless earbuds, Bluetooth 5.2, APTX, six mics, uh, ENC noise canceling headphones, IPX7 water resistant, 70 hours of playtime, of course, with, with the case. Um, there's, a, there's an image of them right now. Uh, they look cool. Uh, Design-wise, they look sweet. They, they look expensive, I think, from, from the image. Uh, today, though, we're going to see if we think they're worth Canadian 255. My guess is, and I don't know exactly because on Amazon.com, they're currently sold out, so I don't know how much they would be. My guess would be somewhere around that $200 mark. So we are getting into that, you know, like Apple uh, AirPods kind of price point, right? So four, four stars, that's pretty good out of 144 ratings. So again, we're going to, we're going to take a look at what comes in the box. We're going to connect them with my phone and we'll, we'll take a listen. Yeah. Okay, my friend. So here, here, here is the box. You guys can see the box right there. Uh, Fit, fit, hi, fitty, fitty, fit, hi, I don't know. Green, and this is the green is that's re really my folk type, type thing. Uh, and there you go, some more information there. BA plus dynamic hybrid earbuds, right? Bunch of little specs on the back. Cool, let's crack it open. Um, I don't know what the DB level is, maybe it says here one dynamic, two balanced armature combination. Yeah, okay, active noise canceling, uh, six mics. What does it say? Does it say how much? What's the DB level? It does not seem to say. Okay. CNC craft seven times arrow metal. Nice. 70 hours uh, playtime. It's seven hours per charge. That's actually pretty good. Seven hours, 63 hours with the case. And uh, you get MIFO customer service. Sweet. Uh, all right. I've tried the MIFO stuff before. We've tried a bunch of the MIFO stuff and, I, and I've always been happy with them. Um, the one thing that I find now, this is the one thing that I find now, is that, uh, you know, to get 70 or 80% of the performance, you can pay a lot less. Like you can, you can easily spend like $50, $60 on a pair of earbuds and get easily probably like 70-ish percent of maybe what like a high-end pair of earbuds get so it really depends on your needs etc on what you want out of earbuds now i haven't listened to these so i don't know quite yet so let's uh let's see if we think they're worth 250 55 dollars canadian um it's a green box it does i always like the way that they open their stuff it kind of opens it like like it's a um some jewelry right because we all like some jewelry i like i like this with the kind of the weird it's like a weird, you guys see that? It's kind of like this weird frosted, almost like a frosted glass on there. That's slick. It's very, very apple -y. You know, you get a nice little box up here. Their presentation is fantastic, really good. You get their traditional, which is with pretty much all the MIFO stuff, uh, a nice little green USB-A to USB-C cable. It's, it's lovely, very nice. You get a uh, some exchangeable, different sizes of ear tips. You guys can see it right there, ear tips, right? Nice, nice. And you get a little, little tiny little, little manual. There you go, little manual. Uh, I'm not gonna read it, but the fonts and all that are big enough to read, which is good. I'm sure it does everything it needs to do. It's, a, it's manual. And going based on their uh, other MIFO products we've done, the manual works really well. It does what it needs. I, I'm digging this case though. I am digging this case. Check that out. That is, that is nice presentation. I'd almost keep that box for storage, which I may, which I may, because that box, that's a nice case. I'm giving you that. That's a nice case. Now, here's my first question. I'm, I don't know if it is. I don't think so. I don't think it's got any wireless charging. It doesn't seem to have any lights. That is a hefty, that is, where's my, that is a hefty case. Like it's a, it's, it's pretty sweet. It's got a texture to it, like it's, you, you hear this? Right, it's got a texture to it on the front and back. Fit, fiti. I can't tell if it's just mirroring, yeah, it must be just a little mirror there on the button. 
USB-C, there's your charging port right there. Yeah, those are those are something. I like those looks wise. Like and I, because it's it's fairly fairly thin even though it's bigger, right? And if you're like if you're traveling, it is bigger so you may be a little like that's going to take up a lot of space. Uh, yeah, but it, it still should be pocket friendly, I would think. And my guess would be this is holding like that large battery, right? Fairly large battery, 70 hours. So, all right, this is this going to like pop it open? Ho ho! Look at those. Ho ho! One's flashing already. So it does say earbuds under charge status three press reset. I don't know what that means. I don't know. But down here on my phone, Fatih high pods. Boom. Done, connected. So I'm taking these out. My guess is there's no no plastic stuff. They are they are large. They're a they're a fairly large earbud. You guys see them right there? Like they're a fairly large earbud. This one's well, neither one of them's dinging now. So okay, let's just stick them in there. I'm guessing. Does that look like it's in there? Okay. They seem to they seem to fit good in there. Now, I don't know, they're, they're, they'd be touch. Transparency mode. Hello, hello, hello. Yep, that's definitely transparency mode. Touch. Strong noise cancelling. And. Mild noise cancelling. And. Transparency. So, they don't, they don't seem to have like an off. Uh, the, the transparency mode is there, for sure. Yeah, it's pick. It's picking up. I, I I don't know if I've. It's hard to tell. Yeah, they they sound pretty good. The transparency mode's pretty good. Uh, but I I don't. We're going to strong. And I have a little fan going on over there. You guys won't be able to hear it, but I don't hear it anymore. So that's that's good. And uh, there's the case. We're connected. So let's listen to some music because that's what we do. We listen to some music. And let's go into, I've got some Linkin Park going right now. Linkin Park. Ready? Because this song has got some good bass to it, right? Okay, those sound really good actually already. It's a really nice low end. And they're quite comfortable. At least for me in my ears. But that's, that's personal preference, right? With any kind of earbuds. And you guys, you guys can see I'm playing, uh, where am I here? There we go. Yeah, they're bassy for sure. And I'm only at about 70, 75%. Let's hear when he starts singing here. Let's crank them right up. Oh, they're loud. <laughs> they're really loud. Oh yeah, no, those sound good. There's a little bit of, I want to say maybe a little bit of muffle in the, in the, the mids to low, but they, they got a really good low end presence for sure. And and the vocal, if you've heard Linkin Park, the highs, not bad, not bad. But no distortion, even at about 90, 95%. Crank them right up. All right. Yeah, that's not bad. They are they are definitely loud, for sure. Um, definitely focused on the, the, the mid to lows is where they're focused, for sure. The highs, not quite as crispy as I've heard in some ear, earbuds. But not bad, not bad. Um, I still think they, they sound really good. So let's try now, we'll get out of here and uh, we'll bring up some, uh, my, my, my classic telephone by uh, Lady Gaga. This gives me a better idea with the highs I find. Yeah, they definitely, even in the highs with the harp at the beginning of the song, it focuses just a little bit more into the mids where I have heard some earbuds that are a little crispier in the highs. Not that it's bad, but it's when you listen to, you know, a hundred different pairs of ear, earbuds, it's hard to differentiate. But there definitely are some that are in that higher end a little better. But the bass and the mids are beautiful. Really nice. Like you guys, I don't know what kind of sound leak you're hearing right now, but yeah, that's that's pretty good. All right. For, for listening to the music, especially if you're someone that likes that music that's in that mid and really low end, I think you'll be quite pleased. And if you want earbuds that are loud. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn the noise cancelling down a little bit. I'm going to go to 
mild noise cancelling. And because of that, I always try to bring the noise cancelling down from doing any kind of mic recording because I find when the, I don't know why, maybe it's just in my own head, but I find that uh, when the noise cancelling is turned on, you don't get as good uh, a mic recording. So I'm going to bring up good old Filmic here. And we'll do a quick, quick test. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. And we are recording. So this is coming directly out of the mics of the Fittees. I don't know what they're called. But you should get a good idea of what the sound recording is like coming from these earbuds. So I get to hear a monitor of them. So it gives me a little reference in the earbuds while I'm talking. It sounds good here, so I'm hoping it sounds good for you guys. All right, let's switch back to the main camera and to the main mic. Yeah, actually, the, the mic sounded pretty pretty decent when uh, just listening to it through the earbuds um, while recording, so I'm gonna say that's pretty good. Now, the last thing I always like to check is that when we bring in the, uh, here they are, the fatigue, fatigues, Fitties? Anybody? How do I say that? Fitties? I don't know. We take them out and <laughs> we'll just pop them in there. We go that way. Is that right? Yep. And there they go. You can see them both. They're both kind of glowing green there as they're, as they're charging, right? You guys see them there? So you get a nice little charging light. Now, I don't know when you close these if there's, yeah, I don't think there's like a, a light, like a charging indicator on the outside of this at all. If there is, I don't know where it is. But you can always just pop them open just to see if it's got something there, right? And you'll see that as soon as you open up, they kind of get ready into that pairing mode again. So, yeah, no, they're, they're pretty cool. I, 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 I dig them. I dig them. Uh, $255, though, right? So um, if you have the money, I think you're going to be pleased with your purchase because they are, they are nice sounding. They are really loud. Um, be aware. Uh, I I think personally that they really focus more on that mid to lows. I'd like to hear maybe a tiny little bit more crispness out of the highs. But if you hadn't listened to a whole bunch of other ear, earbuds, I don't think you'd really notice too much. Um, Two hundred fifty-five bucks, right? Two hundred bucks probably US is my guess. Uh, they're good, hundred percent. They're good, but they're they're definitely not on that budget side, right? So just be aware of that. You can get close for sure to this quality for a little less, um, but it really, I think, depends on you, right? If you like good sound, you like 70 hours, uh, yep. you like some noise canceling abilities from high to low, and you like transparency mode, yeah, and this this super sweet case. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually bring this. We're 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 actually traveling. Uh, for me now, in a few days, when you guys see this, we'll we'll be traveling already. And I think I'll bring these because I'll be able to test them more like on the airplane. And 70 hours is good. I can pretty much, pretty sure I can charge these once, the case, and I'll be good for my whole holidays. So, yeah, I think these are the ones I'll, I'll bring with me. All right, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. And we will see you fine folks. Um, possibly tomorrow? Maybe? I'm not 100% sure how I'm releasing videos while away. You know? We'll see. So maybe a video tomorrow. Either way, later guys.